Hi guys, Alicia here with Terra Drift in the great outdoors. And I feel like it's probably pretty obvious what we're gonna talk about in this video. I mean, just take a look at the title. I guess you already have, and that's probably why you're here, or maybe you Googled that exact phrase. So no introduction needed, I guess? Although I do feel obligated to say that, perhaps surprisingly, this video has been more or less requested by name on multiple occasions. Yes, more than one person has actually asked why we have not done a video about how to poop in the woods yet. This one's for you. You know who you are. And before you're all, uh, guys, I'm pretty sure I know how to poop in the woods. No, no, you don't. I mean, the backpackers and leave no trace advocates out there might have a pretty good idea, but it's actually a bit more involved than finding a tree, dropping your trunks, and you know. Cause here's the thing. You could actually damage some ecosystems and mess with wildlife and just make it like super unpleasant for other hikers and backpackers if you don't do it right, okay? So do it right. We're gonna show you how. Well, I mean, not show you, show you how. <laughs> as much as tell you, show you, cause ew. So here are the tools you'll need. Toilet paper, obviously. Shovel preferably an ultralight compact spade of some sort. Possibly this delightful little contraption we call a wag bag. That's it, it's not complicated. But before you can get to actually using these tools, let's set some ground rules for, you know, pooping in the woods. For starters, do it 200 feet away from pretty much everything. Your tent, wherever you'll be cooking, any natural water sources, trails. Go any closer and all sorts of bad things could happen. Animal could wander into camp because it smells your human-y stink. Another hiker could accidentally come across it. And maybe worse, you could contaminate a drinking source for both animals and people. Cause there are like a bazillion nasty bacteria in your excrement that can make others really sick. Uh, Giardia, anyone? And animals don't much like it either. So whatever you do, at least make sure you do your business at least 200 feet away from water, okay? Second, bury it. And I'm not talking about leaving a pile of your feces at the base of a tree and then scattering some leaves on top. That's not good enough. Nope, you're gonna really need to bury it. That's where this shovel comes in. It's for digging. In fact, a good one might even have some handy markings on it to show you how much digging you need to do. Cause a teeny tiny little hole isn't gonna keep your poo away from animals. You've got to dig deeper, like six to eight inches deeper. Then you can go into the hole, then cover it all back up, pack the earth down on top of it, and then scatter some leaves or sticks or whatever on top. Cause leave no trace. Remember? You want to make it look like you were never there. But what if you're in the desert or hiking along a riverbed or everything beneath your feet is rock and you can't dig a hole? Wag bag. Yeah, I know nobody likes this option, but when you're in the wilderness, you do what you got to do. Usually there will be two bags, an opaque one and then another. We'll call it the safety bag. Poo right into the opaque one, twist it all up, place that inside the safety bag, twist that all up. Voila, wag bag. Then just clip it onto the outside of your bag and dispose of it properly when you get back to civilization. That means in a trash can. But what about toilet paper? Don't worry, I got you. If you're digging a hole for your waste, I've got good news. Your toilet paper can go in there too. Using a wag bag, drop it in the opaque bag. Just don't ever, ever leave it sitting around behind a bush or underneath a tree or next to a trail because so help me, not only does it attract animals and get them used to human presence, it's also an absolute eyesore. Seriously, no one wants to be wandering down a trail or around their campsite and see little white piles of toilet paper all over the place. It's the actual worst. And unfortunately, the worst offenders, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say women, because I've never actually found toilet paper next to a pile of solid human waste before. So ladies, this one's for you. If you're gonna use toilet paper, and I highly recommend alternatives like leaves, large smooth stones. Heck, you can even get something called a Kula cloth for this exact purpose. We'll put a link to it in the description below. Bury it, always. If you can't bury it, you need to pack it out in a trash bag or zip top bag. If it grosses you out, put duct tape over the bag so you can't see through it. Just don't leave it laying around, okay? 
Finally, always check with rangers or informational signs before you um, squeeze your cheeks. Seriously, a ranger actually used those words in a conversation before. Because some parks require that you pack out your waste, even if you're not in a canyon or desert or riverbed situation. North Cascades National Park, for example. So also make sure you're abiding by the rules wherever you're hiking. Oh. And uh, bring plenty of hand sanitizer and wet wipes. You want to give your whole group Giardia because you didn't clean your hands after pooping in the woods? I didn't think so. I mean, we should all know to wash our hands at this point in history, right? The rules apply to the outdoors too. Well, that about wraps it up, guys. We hope we have clarified the issue of how to poop in the woods correctly. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up so you don't miss any of our future very useful videos. Plus, you know, gear reviews and sustainability spotlights and such. And make sure to head over to TerraDrift.com where you'll find all manner of other travel and outdoors related content. We're also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at TerraDrift, and we would love it if you hopped over there and gave us a follow. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Wander on.